What's the problem here? We were fighting over which one of us loved you more. You were? Oh, well, go ahead. You love him more. No, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, mm. I don't. Look, you'd better get this all out of your system right now. I don't want you embarrassing me at my boss's picnic. Mmm, marshmallow. Homer? I'm trying to get at least some of the unfortunate noises out of my system while I can, Marge. I don't want to embarrass myself at the company picnic. Hmm. Are you sure that's enough? You know how the boss loves your delicious gelatin desserts. Oh, Homer, Mr. Burns just said he liked it once. Marge, that's the only time he's ever spoken to me without using the word bonehead. There it is, kids. Stately Burns Manor. Heaven on earth. Okay, now look. My boss is going to be at this picnic, so I want you to show your father some love and or respect. Tough choice. I'm picking respect. Good to see you. Glad you could make it. Oh, thank you, Mr. Burns. I'm so glad you invited us. Not me. I had to miss Little League for this. Quiet, Tom. Oh, please, please, don't fight. Just go out back and have a good time. Fire that man, Smithers. I don't want him or his unpleasant family to ruin my picnic. He'll be gone by the tug of war, sir. Excellent. Uh, afternoon, Mr. Burns. Ah, hello there, uh, uh, Simpson. Homer. Here you go, sir. Ah, uh, oh, yes, uh, oh, and this must be your lovely wife, Marge. Oh, and look at little, uh, Elisa. Why, she's growing like a weed. And this must be, uh, Brat. Bart. Don't correct the man, Brat. Oh, boss, look what we brought. Gelatin dessert. Do oh, for the love of Peter. That's all anybody brought. Some damn fool went around telling everyone I love that slimy goop. Well, toss it in the pile over there. And make yourselves at home. Hear that, Dad? You can lie around in your underwear and scratch yourself. Now you listen to me. Trouble, Simpson? No. <laughs> Just congratulating the son on a fine joke about his old man. Now, remember, as far as anyone knows, we're a nice, normal family. Hey, Bart. Last one in the fountain's a rotten egg. Hey! Oh! Be normal! Be normal! Oh, what an adorable little girl. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't we dump them in the nursery and get a glass of punch? Oh, I'm not much of a drinker. Hey, isn't that your boy there torturing the swans? Bark! Oh, maybe I will take you up on that punch. Gee, you think we should leave the kids unsupervised? You're right. There. Where are you, kid? No! Whoops. Gotcha. Whoa, careful, Dad. Blow a gasket, you lose your job. Now, hear this. The father-son sack race will begin in five minutes on the north lawn. Participation is mandatory. Repeat, mandatory. That is all. You remember the rules from last year? Yeah. Shut my mouth and let your boss win. I don't know who to love more. My son Joshua, who's captain of the football team, or my daughter Amber, who got the lead in the school play. Usually, I use their grades as a tiebreaker. But they both got straight A's this term, so what's a mother to do? Mm -hmm. Well, I sense greatness in my family. Your family? Well, it's a greatness that others can't see. But it's there, and if it's not true greatness we have, we're at least average. I don't want to alarm anyone, but I think there's a little alcohol in this punch. Mr. Burns, are you ready? Yes. Are you set? Yes. Go, Mr. Burns. <laughs> <laughs> one this year. <laughs> Here we sit, enjoying the shade. Hey, brother, pour the wine. Drink the drink that I have made. Hey, brother, pour the wine. He's here at last, oh? my one and only. Goodbye, friends, and don't be lonely. Hey, brother, pour the wine. Hard, I need you. Hey, homie, did you try the punch? Snap out 
of it, Marge. You've got to come with me. The boss is going to make a toast. No, well, I'm not much of a drinker. Well, you picked the perfect time to start you. <laughs> Musicians cease their infernal tootling. Thank you all uh, for coming. March, knock it off. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. March. But now it's time to say goodbye. Please get off my property until next year. I suggest you don't dawdle. The hounds will be released in ten minutes. Did you have a good time, son? Yeah, thanks, Pop. No, oh, that's the kind of family unity I like to see. Smithers. Yes, sir. Get that man's name. I predict big things for him down at the power plant. Quick, Bart, give me a kiss. Kiss you? The dad on your kid. Bart, please. Five bucks for a kiss. Mm. Ugh. I've never seen such an obvious attempt to curry my favor. Fabulous observation, sir. Just fabulous. Boy, I'm glad that's over. Now we can go home and act normal again. What do you mean? Oh, come on. That cornball routine? I love you, Daddy. Give me a break. I pity you. Why? After you. Thank you so much. Me first. No, me. No, me. No, me. 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 Honey, you look so tired. Would you like me to drive? Oh, holy. I think I'm going to be sick. There, there was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh, homie, get in the car. This is where you belong. Yeah, Homer. Room for one more. One of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> <laughs> The father of the family has worked all day to find this food for his children. Unable to fend for themselves, the baby bald eaglets are dependent on their mother regurgitating the food which she has found. Oh, hey! Look, everybody. Yesterday was a real eye-opener. We've got to do better as a family. So tonight... We're not going to shovel food in our mouths while we stare at the TV. We're going to eat at the dining room table like a normal family. Happy, Dad? Yes. Good. Commence shoveling. No. We're going to say grace first. Okay. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Thanks for the grub. Ah! No! Ignore the boy, Lord. Now can the chatter and bow your heads. <clears throat> Dear Lord... Thank you for this microwave bounty, even though we don't deserve it. I mean, our kids are uncontrollable hellions, pardon my French, but they act like savages. Did you see them at the picnic? Oh, of course you did. You're everywhere. You're omnivorous. Oh, Lord, why did you smite me with this family? Amen. Let's eat. No, I'm not done yet. But, Homer, how long are we supposed to sit here and listen to you badmouth us to the man upstairs? I'm sorry, Marge, but sometimes I think we're the worst family in town. Maybe we should move to a larger community. No! Don't have a cow, Dad. The sad truth is, all families are like us. I don't think so, huh? Well, there's only one way to find out. Follow me. Look at that, kids. No fighting, no yelling. No belching. The dad has a shirt on. Look, knockers. These people are obviously freaks. Oh, you think so? Well, let's see what's behind door number two. What are they doing? They're having a conversation. They actually enjoy talking to each other. I wish I could hear what they're saying. Papa, I believe I heard some rustling in the bushes. Mm, I did, too. Better get the gun. Where's he going? Probably to get the old man his pipe and slippers. Whoa! Look at this place. What a dump. It's worse than you think. Oh.